Contents in this bag is the reason I haven't been posting a lot of food reviews. Plus, we got some exciting news. Let's talk about it. I said before we was blessed enough to get invited to the NBA All-Star Weekend, and we gonna play in the basketball game. And I also said that means eating healthy. So, I've been eating this every day. And I say every day, I mean every day. This is a chicken and rice bowl from Ninth Grill Island. It's inside of Biology here in Vegas. Biology just do smoothies, but this location teamed up with Ninth Island Grill, and they make Hawaiian food. And looks ain't deceiving in this case. Yes. <laughs> I've been eating this every day with a little acai smoothie. So it ain't been much to record when it comes to food. <laughs> but I will say I'm down 13 pounds. <laughs> but yesterday we got nominated for NAACP award. God is amazing. I still don't know how to process things like this or internalize things like this. All I can say is thank you. My accolades come from God, but just the fact that I'm in this conversation, I appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all. Every last one of y'all on this journey with me. But that being said, if you want to, you can vote now. The link is on my page on here and on IG. God bless you. I didn't get a fourth today, so I'm gonna just eat it with chopsticks. This is rice, veggies, and really good cooked chicken. I ain't much to complain about. This is spicy garlic chicken sauce. This is my first time trying it. Let's see. I usually just get teriyaki sauce, but they said this got some spice to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's clean, it's charred, it's spicy. There's a lot of garlic. Mm-hmm. Oops. Eating healthy ain't gotta be super boring. I'm about to eat the rest of this, but we gonna be in Dallas very soon. And when I say very soon, I mean it. And the first poll for the Dallas locals to pick a popular restaurant that we go to is officially up on my IG story. It's gonna be a lot going on on my IG story in the next couple days. So if you're not following me on IG and you want to, come join the family. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Me and my family are in Farmer's Branch, Texas, and we got this email. You can pause to read if you would like to. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. We spent about $18. The customer service, I kind of blew it because I ordered it online, but I paid for it through Apple Pay, so my name popped up. My mistake. But they tacos. It's a stew taco, so I don't think he could change recipes of a stew because stews are made in big batches. So yeah. we about to find out. I'm going to show you everything I got, and we're going to try it and rate it one through 10. A brie taco, a chipotle quema taco, a paneer tikka taco, paneer tikka masala chili elote, and a side of consomme. As the email said, this is a Pakistani Tex-Mex fusion place. So these are burrito tacos, but it has a Pakistani twist to it. Like this is the burrito taco. It's nahari meat. Nahari meat, according to Google, is a Pakistani beef stew meat. Instead of a taco shell, this is a grilled naan. That's what they meant by fusion. I ain't gonna lie. It is. It is. It looks gas, good. don't it? It said it's supposed to melt in your mouth. Let's see. Oh, that consomme is concentrated. Hold on, let's... That's not for the faint of heart if you... God damn. <laughs> it's amazing. It is. But is it spicy, boy? Open the ball, you need some. Oh, my God. I'm sweating. I'm in a full sweat already. It's a lot of spice on here. I feel like I've never tried. This grilled naan is soft and buttery. It's cheesy. That meat do fall off the bone. It is tender. It is spicy. He didn't say that part. He should have said that part. He should have put that part to exclamation points. I'm sweating, in my opinion. This is absolutely delicious, though. Yeah. What'd you rate it? 8.7 out of 10. Oh. I'm rating that real high. Extremely high. Especially if you like spice. If you like spice, I can see that being in the nines. This is a drink that he gave my family. I have no idea what this is. Again, he might've gave it to him thinking that they was my family or he might've just been nice. Mm. Oh my God, that's refreshing. Is it? Especially it's after all sweet. them spices. Mm -mm, it ain't sweet at all. It's like a mango. It's like a mango refresher or like a mango. Mm -hmm. It's an eight too, 8.5. And you never rate drinks on this. Good Lord. It's not sweet at all. It's more like a mango tea almost. This is a paneer tikka taco. It's Pakistani cheese. I thought that was chicken. I just looked on their website. It's cheese. Pakistani cheese made in tikka sauce with Mexican spices. They said this is catered to their vegetarian audience. I ain't vegetarian, but I might be today. A little tzatziki sauce. Oh, mozzarella cheese. It look like chicken. Mm -hmm, it do. It don't taste like chicken. It's cheesy. This naan is buttery again. It's a lot of seasoning. I like this tzatziki sauce. It looks like it would be filling for people who don't eat meat. As a non-vegetarian, I can't speak for the vegetarian community, but as somebody who do dibble and dabble in vegetarian food, 
this is delicious this is also an 8.7 out of 10 we both up there and for a vegetarian taco that's crazy yeah. you can see they really care about quality here yeah. it's real fresh this is the last taco this is the chipotle kima i looked it up it's pakistani ground beef with a hint of smoked chipotle flavor yeah. it's a salsa area taco Like a chalupa because the grilled naan is real sweet mm. but it's also buttery they use an amazing amount of spices and seasonings on this meat it's juicy 9.3 out of 10. that's high for a girl time. is we about to go in there and talk to that man is we, we about to go in there and have nothing, a conversation but... with him it might get a little crazy that's one of them i'm saying on the record i can't promise that i don't know what's gonna happen i'm gonna leave it in god's hands it's a ghost kitchen so the quality might not be there every time but if it's like this it's simple at the end of the day it's just me and a grill knot but simple done absolutely immaculate if you ask me this is a lemon saute chili paneer tikka corn you know i do like a lote let's see that's different mm -mm. that's just spicy lote gotta have some mayo some cheese some chili powder a little bit of salt a little bit of lime this is spices and it's real spicy mm. It might be good for Ooh. a pair of a, like a, one of Ooh. the tacos that don't have very mm -mm. much um, spice on it. Mm -mm. No? For me, this is way too spicy. Two out of ten. All I taste is spice. My condolences and my heart go out to the fact that he lost his mom. But in my opinion, I think she would be extremely proud that the legacy that he's continuing. I appreciate Before it. Before we left, we went in and had a conversation with him. And on his website, he has a sweepstake going on for people who leave reviews. And he's picking one winner to win $500 on the 1st of February. We went in and we tripled that $500 and we tipped him $1,000. God is amazing. Much respect, brother. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Thank you for emailing me. I saw on your website that you're doing $500 for anybody who leave a review, or are you picking somebody? Yeah. You want to triple that? Okay. Yeah. Cool. If you want to leave your time about it. Bro, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Ye
It should be. That might be pork. Yeah, it got a note on the back end. I can't put my finger on it, but I'm not a huge fan. It's some kind of either like spice or maybe the meat that was used. It's like very pungent and a little overpowering. It is good, but it's not my favorite. Six out of 10. I heard that beef ribs is where it's at, but I'm not a huge fan of beef ribs, so I got the pork ribs. That's just a personal purpose. Oh, these do look like beef ribs. These huge. Huge, I've never seen a pork rib like that. That's the rib. I'm not even using my teeth. Like, I swore I'm not. Look how much pressure I put on the beef. Bone clean. I think this beef for itself. This is the best rib I've had in a long time. I know some people don't like their ribs falling all the way up the bone because it's a sign of being overcooked, but that's how I like my rib. 9.5 out of 10. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna lie to you. This is a potato salad. Hmm. I'm not mad at it, but it's a lot of deal and a lot of red onion. And this is real strong deal. Like, I got a punch with it. You can see all the deal in there. This ain't our potato salad. It's cool. I'm not mad at it. It's just potato salad. I'm right in the middle with this. Five out of 10. I eat a little bit more of it with them ribs though. Honestly, it might be good with mm -hmm. the ribs and the brisket and stuff mm -hmm. together. Last but not least, the peach cobbler. I always say I'm not a huge fan of sweets. I eat sweets every now and again, but I'm very picky when I eat them. So take my opinion on sweets with a grain of salt. I don't know what this is. This ain't peach cobbler. This is salted yellow cake with some peaches and some kind of syrup. This is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> you remind me of like those dump cakes, you know, where you throw the yellow cake and the Sprite and the peaches in the pan and put it in This is peach cake. I mean, you can call it peach cobbler. You can call it whatever you want. Just call me when you make it. <laughs> you hear me? I'm at a nine and that's really high for me with sweets. I only give it one other sweet that high. Puttery. And that's the puttery. Yeah. Overall, I 100% see why 17,000 people told me to come here. <laughs> I get it. The food in this bag was recommended over 10,000 times on a poll that I put on my IG story. And it was amongst the popular category here in Dallas, Texas. I got it. Let's try it. Rated 1 to 10. He spent $91.03. The name of this place is Terry Black's Barbecue. Now, while it came with mixed reviews, some people say they love it. Some people say they didn't like it. But again, 10,000 people recommended it. So we pulled up. As far as takeout, everything was ordered online. Now, I will say I got on the website at 302. The only sauce available was 4 o'clock. That's 58 minutes. That's an hour. It's an hour and a half in black people time. <laughs> what I really didn't like is to go orders is only online. And when you do online, it's a minimum order of $75. That's crazy. What if I just want a little plate? Like I just want a little barbecue plate, little $20, $30 plate. I'm going to show you everything I got and we're going to try it and we're going to 10. A quart of mac and cheese. This was the smallest size they had. They also had a gallon. A gallon of mac. What you about to do with a gallon of mac and cheese? <laughs> a cornbread muffin. Did they wrap all of the meat in here? All of it is separated by this wrap. Like it's one meat in here and then it's another meat in here. And then it's another meat and it's separate wrap. And last but not least, a side of sauces, onions, and pickles. That's it? That's how I came? Yeah, no utensils. No utensils either? For time's sake, I'm gonna try all of the meats and then I'm gonna give it right at the end. I don't know if it's the regular sausage or jalapeno sausage, they didn't say. That might be the regular one. It's smoked, it's real smoked and it's meaty, but this for sure the jalapeno cheddar. Mm -mm. For transparency, I spit it out. That cheese is, it's real pungent and it's just coated my mouth. And that's all I tasted was like cheese and like grease and meat. I'm not the target audience for that. This is smoked turkey. Now this supposed to be some of the juiciest turkey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a really high level, high quality turkey meat that you get on sandwiches. It's brisket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I ordered ribs. Oh. Where are my ribs at? I had to go back because I thought I ordered ribs, but I didn't. So I got a whole slab of ribs. This was $100. I feel like it wasn't doing them justice if I ain't trying to ribs. And just off of appearance, I might be right because these look crazy. If I would have left without trying this, I would have been hot. Is it the best rib I've ever had? No. Is it good? Absolutely. I'm going a little bit past good. This is delicious. It's juicy, it's smoked, it's covered in peppercorns. This is up there. You can even see the smoke on the meat. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and for $100, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. You get 13 ribs for $100. Is it expensive? Yes. Is barbecue expensive? Yes. But this is personally the highest rated for me. 8.7 out of 10. This is the mac and cheese. Get down here with the cheese sauces at. Mmm. 
That's just a salty noodle. This is the cornbread. This is cornbread. It's good though. It's a little dry, in my opinion. I'll tell you about it too. It's a lot of dry. It's a lot of dry. Just to see, I want to see what this brisket talking about with this original barbecue sauce. I don't like this sauce. But this brisket though. Now time for ratings. The original sausage was pretty good. It was just sausage, but it's a high quality casing in my opinion. And I could tell it smoked and it got a good snap to it. The original sausage, I give it 7.5 out of 10. The jalapeno cheddar, I was not a fan of at all. It covered my mouth with cheese, grease, and a very, very overpowering meat flavor. And I personally didn't like it. One out of 10. The turkey was extremely moist and high quality. I'm a fan of that. And I can see that being really good on the sandwich. 7.9 out of 10. The brisket was a highlight of the show for me. It was smoky, it was peppery, it was mesquite wood. It tastes like, I could be wrong, but it tastes like mesquite wood. And if it's not mesquite wood, whatever wood they used was really strong, and I'm a fan. 8.5 out of 10. The cornbread was just cornbread, but it was on the drier side. And when I say on the drier side, if this moist and this dry, I'm like here. With that being said, 2.5 out of 10. Last but not least, the mac and cheese. Not a fan of it all. It just tastes like a salty, wet noodle. And excuse my description, but that's just my personal opinion. All right, y'all, today I'm trying Detroit 75 Kitchen. First other barbecue chicken egg rolls and lobster, crab, and shrimp empanadas. Egg rolls got everything you could ask for. Barbecue, garlic, peppers, sauteed onions, cheddar cheese. Trying it with their barbecue ranch. Their ranch is a game changer. Seafood empanada and squirted out juices. Here's their homemade remoulade sauce. Tastes like it's wasabi in here. Next is their Detroit style cheese steak. They pack these boys to the brim. Mr. Keith Lee rated this place. Honestly, they did not disappoint. Lee Keith was not playing about this place. I like how it's not getting soggy, but it's still a little wet. It matches perfectly with the toasty crunch. Got two locations, but I went to their Southwest food truck. All the food came out to like 75 bucks. Next to their shrimp pull boy with garlic cilantro fries. I like how the shrimp has a little bit breading to them, but this thing's getting pretty wet. You can see the cilantro on the fries. Trying it with the roasted jalapeno ketchup. This combo was well executed. This ketchup is too good. Look at their hickory smoked wings. Listen to the crunch. They dumped a bucket of seasoning on this. Here's their white barbecue sauce. Oh, fuck. Holy. Skin is crispy, crunchy. This is perfectly smoked. These are some nice sized wings. The taste is immaculate. Not really spicy, but it gives you a tingle in your lips. I rate this place a 9.0. Just some really good finger food. I really like the options on their menu. I like it. I approve. And yes, I would try it again. How does a pizza place have pizza that look like this? But yet, they only got 48 followers on TikTok. Are looks deceiving? I don't know. Let's find out. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. We spent $139.12. This pizza is from Thunderbird Pies here in Dallas, Texas. My family said while the customer service wasn't bad, nothing really stood out to them. But I will say it was really easy to order. I just ordered it online. I'm gonna show you anything I got and we're gonna try it and rate one to 10. Little Bastards, which is fried Brussels sprouts, a kale BS salad, buffalo wings with banana pepper ranch, a connie pizza, which is double pepperoni and bacon, a bud pizza, which is a classic tomato sauce and cheese, the goat, which is a monthly pizza. I made a mistake in order too, so we're gonna get this to somebody we see. First, we're gonna start with the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna be reading off of a phone what's all in here because it's a lot of ingredients. These are fried Brussels sprouts with bacon marmalade, sweetie drop peppers, and balsamic reduction. I'm not sure what sweetie drop peppers are. We ain't get no forks, I'm gonna eat this with my hand, but my hands are clean. This is a Brussels sprout, a little too fried for me. Mm. Before I get my opinion, I'm gonna get all the toppings. Hold on. The bacon marmalade is good. The peppers are good. But I really don't like how they cook these Brussels sprouts. It's too greasy. That's all I really taste. The grease takes away from the flavor of the Brussels sprouts. I really like Brussels sprouts and I can't taste Brussels sprouts at all. I just taste grease. But the bacon marmalade and the cheese are really good. But it's just bacon, cheese, and peppers. It's supposed to be good. As it is for me, this is a five out of 10. If the Brussels sprouts were broiled or sauteed, I feel like that would be in a seven or eight. These are buffalo wings. This is banana pepper ranch. I ain't never heard of that before. I'm assuming they just took ranch and squoze. Squoze. I'm assuming they took ranch and then put banana pepper juice in there. I'm gonna try it first with the ranch. Banana pepper ranch. I get it a little bit on the back end. It's a little spicy. They got a little bit of a kick to it. Now by itself, it is more tangy and a little more sour than regular ranch. But I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. It's different, but if you ask me, I would prefer regular ranch, to be honest with you. It's a solid wing though. They real big, they meaty, but at the end of the day, I think it's just a piece of shop wing. The wings, I give a seven out of 10. The ranch, I give a four out of 10. We don't have a fork, so I'm gonna skip the salad. I'm assuming this is what a sweetie pepper is. I've never seen it before. This might be a Texas thing or... I like that. Oh, why I didn't get one of them with the actual Brussels sprouts? 
Here, you get another. Mm -hmm. It's not spicy at all. It's much more of a sweet pepper, and it got a little bit of a fruitiness to it. Mm, I like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't just gonna eat. I'm not just gonna eat sweet. Brussels sprouts and sweetie peppers. But <laughs> next up, we got the goat pizza. Again, I'm reading off the menu. This is a brick cheese blend with pepperoni, hot sopressata, brisket, goat cheese, and jalapeno pesto. I'm a sucker for Detroit style pizza. Super crispy edges. It's cooked well on the bottom too. The crust itself is a little bouncy. I'm not a huge fan of that. And for me, it's also on a dry side. Yeah, so it's real dry. I don't see no tomato sauce on there. Yeah, that's what I was looking yeah, at. Yeah, I, I don't see no tomato sauce. Detroit style pieces, usually they put the sauce on, on the top, top yeah. but they don't even get on the top. If the jalapeno pesto is a replacement for the tomato sauce, in my opinion, it should be a lot more. When I say a lot more, I mean 10 times as much. Because right now, this is bread and cheese. Three out of 10. As always, these are my opinions. I don't mean no harm. Next up, this is the bud. This is the original. It's a caramelized cheese crust and tomato sauce. They don't specify that it has Parmesan cheese on it, but it looks like Parmesan cheese and basil, if I'm not mistaken. It does look delicious, I ain't gonna lie. The sauce is super oniony, and I like onions, but this is so overpowering. That's all I taste. I do appreciate that it does have more sauce, so it's not as dry, but I'm not the target audience for the sauce at all. I'm gonna try the crust, because I didn't get the crust on the last one. That crust is pretty much all Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. That's the best part of the pizza. <laughs> as far as the sauce, I think it definitely should be a cutback on onions, but again, that's just my personal opinion. Everybody's palate is different, so other people might like the onions. I'm just not a huge fan of it. When I say not a huge fan, I'm again in that same range, three out of 10. Last but not least, we got a small connie, which is double pepperoni. I added bacon and it's cheese and basil. I will say as far as presentation, they knocking it out the park though. I just wish it would be more sauce and not this sauce in my opinion. It's the same sauce, but the bacon that they use is super overpowering. So I don't taste much, but the bacon, but I do love the sauce to cheese ratio in this one. This is my favorite by far. If you're not a pork fan, I don't think you're gonna like this because this bacon is real, like, strong. It's like, it's punched me in the mouth. Personally, this is a seven out of 10 for me. It's still not the best piece in the world, but compared to the other ones, this is the one I'll grab for sure.